Hello, my name's Nicholas Atkinson. The family was a part of what is known as the Cumbrian Migration, where uh, 10 or so families came down from the Lake District and um, f to bring their cattle and fertility to the soil of what was at the time a very barren landscape along the South Downs. We have uh, 800 acres of arable land here and a further 200 um, of downland, which is um, in the HLS scheme there is undoubtedly a difference and it has started in the last few years. Um, first of all every farm that we farm has a barn owl on it which is an absolute joy for me as a farmer to see. A key species of bird would be the corn bunting. We're all desperate to try and get the corn bunting back on our farm to the volumes that it was say in the early part of the cent last century. This is our um, 17 acres of SSSI. A triple SI is a site of special scientific interest, which has been ever since um, we farmed the farm since the late 70s. Um, it has never had anything agrochemical or fertilizer put on it in that time. So it is slowly and very surely reverting back to um, traditional tilt grassland. The grassland on the farm um, we maintain on this farm with sheep. We used to be cattle as well. We have 350 sheep on the farm which graze the downland. We have to take them off at the 1st of May and then we can put them back on, on the first, in the 1st of August. And the idea of that is to let the natural flowers which used to live on the downland to regenerate and seed. Obviously our primary business here at South Farm is, is an arable enterprise producing wheat, barley and oats. We have to maintain and keep our crops disease and pest free and for that we use the sprayer. We use it as sparingly as we possibly can. I'm incredibly optimistic about the situation of farming. Um, I think it's probably a more optimistic, bearing in mind I'm coming to the end of my farming career, and that the fact that local production is just so important. Being in the South Downs Farmers Group, like-minded farmers together, um, sharing their interests, their farms, their ideas as to the way that um, we can push the environmental aspect of our livelihoods forward. Um, I think, and for the future part of the South Downs, I think it's going to become even more important as farming eventually loses its, its production-led subsidy.